Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. It has already been a glowing success on this road trip, and they'll try to close it out with another W tonight. Opening face-off is just seconds away. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. And now he moves it to Carpenter. Abbotsford's looking to break out of their own end. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. On the redirect, denies him. The Canucks gain control of it. What pressure here in the offensive end. Perhaps the puck along the boards. And that's blocked in front. There's a hit on the play. Behind the net. Big save right there. Oh, what a save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Bortolo's won it in their own end. Slick feed. Rocks him on the play. Abbotsford's got possession of the puck. The Canucks will play it in their own end. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Abbotsford's got a hold of it against the wall. Oh, huge hit against the wall, and you know they felt that one. Well, and that's a tone setter. That's sending a message to every player on your team. Get involved physically, pay the price, use your body, and get the puck. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. Takes the feed, moving in. Takes it and looks ahead. Cuts to the front. Great save from in tight. Sotenko's been consistent all season long. I mean, his team's in the winning column. His save percentage is up, and he's a real reason why they have a chance in every game. Bortolo's taking it from his own end. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Thunderous collision. Look at the end result. He's on his own bench. Yeah, and this is tough to handle, whether it's on your opponent's bench or yours. You know why, James? It's because you weren't able to stand your ground, and now you're over the boards. Here they come on the attack. Oh, wow. Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Drives to the paint. Oh, what a stop on the play as it goes off the shaft of the stick. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. San Jose's performance has been very average throughout the season, and now that they've hit the halfway mark, they're going to have to find a way to address it. You need consistency, you need strong games, and you got to string wins together. Carpenters won the draw here in their own zone. San Jose's looking to break out. Dumps it in. Abbotsford's got a hold of it along the wall. The Canucks gain the zone. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Abbotsford's grabbed a hold of the puck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And he takes the feed. Forces the turnover. There's the horn, ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Abbotsford's controlled the majority of play here, and you know the coach is going to be telling them to continue with the habits, continue to play aggressive, but to drive the paint. Anytime you're in the offensive zone and you're not getting good luck, it's because you're on the perimeter. Shimmick's got the puck in his own zone. 
San Jose's got him along the wall. Just misses. From the point, looks to make something happen. And a great scene. Quick pass to Smith. And that goes off course off a body. From the left side, they gain the zone. And he's able to handle that one. Scores! He's on the board! Uh, this is nothing new for him. His 20th goal of the season, James Mann. He's got an unbelievable ability to decide his shot. Absolutely incredible. 20 already. That's great puck movement, James. Working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier. And they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage. And they capitalized and executed with it. The Canucks finally improved their shooting percentage with that goal here in the second. And you can see how happy they are. The body language says it all. After so many misses and opportunities earlier in the game, they finally get rewarded. And that's got to give them some jump to their step. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. And he'll opt to play the puck here. Browse crossed the line and gained the zone. Here's a shot. Yeah. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Canucks have been impressive to watch tonight. They've had a lot of shots on net, and they lead it here in the second. Portolo's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Seelov's got it in the defensive end. And they'll dump it in. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Here's a rocket of a shot. Oh, what a block. He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. San Jose's got it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. They put the puck into the offensive end. Takes the feed. Fires it. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Past the midway mark in this period, the Canucks have taken a 1-0 lead. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Carpenter's won the draw inside his own end. Moves it to the offensive zone. And it's easily turned aside. From off the wall and onto a stick. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Too much congestion in front. Here's a short pass to Smith. Driving right to the front. <laughs> Scores! I got two words for you. New game. Yeah, it certainly is, James. And who's going to come out on top by the beginning of this faceoff? You want to be able to get that puck in the offensive zone and find a way to continue to attack. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in. San Jose's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical timing. You want to maintain pressure and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Quick shot! San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Grabs possession of the puck. And that puck leaves the zone. Trying to gain a step. He's in. Oh! And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Loses his balance on the play. Across the line, down the left wall. Tried to pick a spot, but that goes off the side of the net. San Jose's got a hold of the puck. On their heels, trying to clear. Here's a race for the loose puck. 
And there's the whistle icing the call. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. We are underway here in the third and this could come down to next goal wins. Oh, that goes off the bucket and he keeps it out. Well, that's the type of save they say use everything to get in front of it, James. That jolts off the mask. Maybe a little dizzy after that one. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And not much on that one. That's blocked. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Shimmick stick handling in his own zone. Looking to make something happen at center. Abbotsford's on the attack. Stuck by McAnany. Picked up along the boards by Kelt. Moves the puck. Abbotsford's gained possession along the boards. Here they come up along the wing. Puck grabbed by Skudnichka. Here's a shot! And that goes off a player in front. Trying to get the puck away from the Inferno here. Seacheck's taking it from his own end. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot! Denies him in close. Cjack's back in the lineup after nursing his injury, and sometimes it can be frustrating and you can feel a little slow to start, but he creates some offense right off the hop. San Jose's got the puck. Take it, take. Shot! And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. He got all of that hit. San Jose's got a hold of the puck now. Into the offensive end now. Takes a shot! Incredible reflexes on the glove save by Sancheco. Rouse got it in the offensive zone. Fires it on net. Too many bodies in the way. Grabbed along the board by Sychek. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Ontario's coming up next on the schedule. Get your tickets. It should be a good time. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. Abbotsford's got the puck inside the offensive zone. And he stopped that one. And he shuts the door again. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Frozen Bills gets dropped, and we are back underway here. The Canucks go to work on offense. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? San Jose's got the puck in the defensive end. Keeps possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. Irwin's picking up momentum through center. Abbotsford's got the puck along the wall. How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Puts it on net and makes the save. Dishes it to Olenin. Abbotsford's got the puck against the half wall. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. With some open space at center. They've got some momentum here. Goes right to the crease. And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. So Tanko has been dominant in the crease tonight. He's turned away a lot of high danger shots. And he's really found a way to build some momentum for his team. Give him a real opportunity to win. Here's the chance. And he hangs on just as time runs out. 
So 60 minutes of play and nothing decided. That means we've got overtime and it's coming up right after this. The moment of truth has arrived. Overtime is set to go. All right, it is nail biting time. We are underway with overtime. Oh, what a stop by McAnany! There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Close save! How did he get a piece of that? Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in, he's trapping the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Abbotsford's in now. Lays the body. Turn that chance aside. Face-off here inside the offensive end. Joshua's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Oh, great reflex pass stopped by McAnany. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Smith's lugging the puck. Over the line they come. Into the corner now. Smith's taking the puck behind the net. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. And that's turned aside. They've got an on-man rush. There's the horn. And still nothing decided after overtime. So we'll take it to a sh shootout next. Coaches getting their final lists in here as both teams will settle this one in a shootout. First skaters on the ice, goaltenders set the shootout. This place is buzzing, it's ready to go. And he says, uh-uh, on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease, just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Makes a save and look go to it at once. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Still no score here in this shootout. Ch stops it. This might be turning into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's tracking and anticipating the next move. Reads it perfectly and makes a save. Love that he doesn't sit back in his crease, but he gets out and challenges and takes away as much of the net as possible. Makes a save on that shootout attempt. Well, with today's technology and all the resources available, you know that goaltenders have the book on the shooter, and I'm telling you, he read this one perfectly. And he comes up clutch here in the shootout. Um, this is why they practice it a lot of the time post-practice, James. Goaltenders want to work on this, so do shooters. He does a great job of anticipating to make that save. And he says, uh-uh, on that play. Yeah, on the shootout, he's confident and composed. You don't see him moving around in his crease. Just makes himself as big as possible. Looks really efficient. Makes a save and look good to anyone. Yeah, the body language, everything about him is telling you that he's confident and composed right now. Portolo's got a chance to be the hero if he can come up with a clutch goal. And he stops that attempt. I think he just does a great job of making himself as big as possible and took away all the shooting angles. Stops it. This might be turning into...
into a save-out instead of a shootout. Yeah, I mean, this is 1v1 against the goaltender, and uh, he's challenging at the top of his crease, but most importantly, he's tracking it. There's the call, and they're taking it a shootout.